Hi guys, it's Jen and Michelle at You Caught Me Crafting and you can see I have a very exciting sneak peek for you. I am so, so excited. I even did my nails. You can't really see, but you'll be able to see later, but they're Batman and it says Kiss and I'll show you why very soon. You can see it's a square kit and we start at the top. You know, I always do this. This is for black swan, but should be a bat. <laughs> and then Minyungi always makes purring noises, so they call him a cat. And this painting is called The Bat and the Cat. And look at how stunning this box, the artwork. Do you see the bat and the cat? 70 by 107. Let's go ahead and start this sneak peek. I'm so excited. It's gonna be heavy, I already know. Wow. And on the side, you can see the full diamond coverage area, 47 colors, including four ABs, 117,448 diamonds. Do you see? These boxes are just so amazing. Then we have our second sticker. Putting on the plastic if you don't want to keep the box or for kidding up. Then we have our toolkit. This is a square. So if you get around, the only difference in your toolkit will be that there will be no tweezers. Let's quickly open this toolkit. We've got our very sharp tweezers. Some people like to place their square drills with these. I am not good at that at all. We have a big bag of baggies, our wax, two hearts of it, a red squeegee, the seven multi-placer, and here's the four. We have a white sparkly pen, so that works perfectly with this kind of romantic DC picture. And then a new cover minder I've never seen before, this red sparkly heart. Here's our golden sparkly tray with the plug. And then we have my favorite, the golden flower washi tape that I use so often. And that's what comes in your toolkit. If you're a first time buyer and you get a round kit and you don't get tweezers, don't think there's anything wrong. It's just because they only come in square kits. And I'm just going to say right now, if you are looking to buy for the first time, I do have a code. It's right here. You caught me crafting for $10, not percent, $10 off of your first purchase. So if you see something you just can't resist and you want to make your first leap into Diamond Art Club, well, welcome and that will get you ten dollars off no pressure and i have everything linked below i'm going to take the plastic off and then put the canvas to the side and we'll go through everything in the middle then i go through the colors the ab's the drill field then we're done just like all my sneak peeks but i'm so excited it's my first dc one and i adore every time you get a painting you will get this thank you for your purchase it just has tips tricks a coupon code here it shows you how to get to the vip facebook group i will have everything linked below the only thing i would say to really take notice of is on the back if you download diamond art club's app which i love your first purchase on the app, you get 20% off. So they're just giving you, you know, coupon codes everywhere. So we have The Bat and the Cat by Batman and DC Comics. This is the picture I put in my log book. Everything on here is a sticker. 
Well, you have to cut this one up, but I mean, it's all sticker paper. Sorry for the glare. You can see my Batman and kiss little nail decals now. Look, there's Gotham, Batman. Look at the detail in this square, 70 by 107 again. And here we have 47 colors and we have four ABs. So we will see where those ABs go. But again, just look at this artwork. I bet the background's going to be beautiful. And I just love everything about this. Now let's get to the canvas. Well, this is a huge diamond painting. And of course, it is a square. So a group project or if you're just a huge fan, this would look great in a game room or a theater room or really anywhere you want to put it. It's your artwork. But I'm so excited to unroll this. I had to move some stuff out of the way. It is so big. Are you guys ready? I'm so nervous. Like in the best like roller coaster excitement way. So here we go. And I'm sorry if you can't see the whole thing. I think you can right now. But look at the back on these buildings. Look at that detail. Incredible. And here are two lovers in this one. There's Batman. There's Catwoman's red lips. Gotham in the background. You can see all of the windows. Whoever rendered this, I'm saying, did such a great job. All of the detail, and I will show you the drill field close up. Ooh, it's hanging off my drafting table, so I'm going to slowly scoot it up. Her little ears, both of their ears. All of this. Just so much went into this. The rendering, it's gorgeous. And look at them. Remember, it's 70 by 107, so it is very large. And you can see a lot of 310, which, you know, I when you're outlining and stuff, it's a lot of fun. And 310 is easier when you have a big multi-placing area. It's harder to multi-place lighter colors. Also, just take your time, enjoy it, enjoy working your way up. But look at this gorgeous artwork. I can't show you <laughs> the whole thing. It wants kind of, there's the bottom. And then you see there's not as much multi-placing. Once you get up here, this 310, you get to this beautiful, this is the center. This is that, you know, focal point. I wonder what they're going to do with the ABs. And then the background, the buildings. I love how it truly looks like it's straight out of a graphic novel or a comic book. This could easily be in there and I just love the way that they've really made these buildings stand out. You can see lights are on in places but they don't care. They only have eyes for each other right now. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out, get our colors out, we'll go through the colors quickly. And I hope that you love this as much as I do. I'm so excited. Before I go through the colors, I just wanted to scroll through the whole thing. We'll pull it down and show you guys the whole painting up. And look at this beauty. Ready? How? Stunning. Here is our huge palette of colors. And before I go through them individually, I just want to go ahead and get rid of that little elephant in the back of the poster painting. There are 24 bags of 310, which I did show you all of the multi-placing in the 310 that goes throughout the painting. And that's of course the color that we have the most of. But I'm going to go ahead and move those, then we'll go through the rest of the colors. If you 
don't like a lot of 310. This might not be the painting for you, but honestly, I think it works really well in this painting. And we'll see as we go along. But I'm going to take those and put them away so that we can focus on these colors. We have 321, 815, 210, 353, 839, 124, first AB, 353, 3733, 3855, 128, second AB, and 402, we have 415, 352, 435, 318, 3371, 938, 3325, 844, and 3844, 316, 414, 3860, 3823, 739, and 3772, 3861, then 1, 2, 3, 4 bags of 823, and 2 bags of 312, 3064, 141, another AB, and 945, 452, 644, 322, 975, 129, the yellow AB, 3799, 3782, and 779, 647 times 2, 317 times 2, 712, 645, and then 803 times 2. So those are all of our beautiful colors, including a lot of 310, but you can see it's used all throughout the painting, especially at the bottom. So let me go ahead and cut those ABs out, and let's go through and see where they go. I might not find every place, and I'm not going to spend, you know, 45 minutes searching, because some will be a surprise, but I'll point out where they generally go. I'll try to find as many as I can for you guys. Here we have our four ABs, and you can see some are even very little. I really do think this is out of a comic book or graphic novel, and they want to keep with that and not make it too sparkly, but if you want to add ABs or not use any of these, do whatever you want. And the cool thing is, you can see the legend top left or bottom right, so if you don't even want to kit up and just want to go by color, go by symbol, do anything like that, do it your way. You know, have fun with this. It's a big painting. It's a project. It's going to take a long time to do, so I definitely suggest maybe working on the 310 for a little bit at a time, then maybe another area. And I do have a video, and I can link it up here on how to roll up very large canvases, which this is a very large canvas if you have a small workspace. And sometimes just not having to look at everything at once. That can stress you out if you say, oh my goodness, I have so much more of this left, but if you can roll it all up and just have, you know, the part that you're working on in your site, I think that helps a lot. And every time you get a section done or a color done, it just feels great. You don't have to look at everything that you don't have done. Let's start with 124. This darker pink for 124, the symbol is 1. And I'm just going to look at the top. I don't think it'll be up there. It's a very small bag, so I do see some. I'm not going to zoom in, but just follow my fingers. And like I said, I'm going to miss some. It's a huge painting, but that just means you'll find more. And you'll be like, ooh, there's some there. That's awesome. Do see ones right 
here on cat ladies cat lady cat woman i've been looking at crazy cat lady but cat woman has ones right here and then her ears there are two here five here five here and then they run down her chin and these areas these lines you see these are ones And on the back of her cowl, there are ones there. Part of my reach, if you can see my arm. So we'll keep moving down. And you know, we can honestly do the one and two together because they are next to each other. So two is the lighter, the 128. And where I showed you the ones, right here. You can see there are twos here are those ones and then as you go down these are all twos this line the ones and twos pretty much go together so it makes sense if i show you them you know together because i just keep seeing twos and ones next to each other right here i can zoom in a little bit so right here it's a very light pink. There's a line of twos. And then right here, a big group of twos with some white in the middle, but this area, these are twos. Twos are right here. So we have ones and twos going down. And that's where I see all of the ones and twos. So these two AVs are going to be all in the vicinity of just this area right here. Both pinks to make her just sparkle and stand out a bit, which like she needs it. She's already so gorgeous. I love the 310, just kind of making everything so, so very graphic novel-y. You know, you can't deny thick black lines outlining everything. It's very straight out of a comic book, which is perfect. Then we have 129, which will be 3. This pale yellow. I'll start at the bottom. I wonder if there are any down there. Of the threes. That light yellow. Sorry about the noise, but I have to move it. <laughs> it's beautiful structures. I'm just also admiring the artwork as I'm looking for the ABs, and I hope you guys are too. Let's see our first threes that I've seen. Two rows right here and a bunch right here in this building kind of like in the lights or where people where their offices might be so the threes there 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 are two threes here here's line here line right there so there are threes right here. There are threes on the bottom of the back of her cowl. And then this building right here. See these diagonals? There are threes here, 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 and a bunch right here. I know it's hard to see, but I promise you they're there. <laughs> and then a line of threes here. Just gonna make sure you can see where I'm pointing. A line of threes here, 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 here. A bunch of lines of threes, which I will show you when I take my camera off and go through the drill field. I will go through these buildings so you can see just how detailed they are, and you'll see those threes and fours where those lights are. 
where people are working and things like that. Not all of these dots are threes, but I'd say about 60% are. There are a lot of threes all through here. Here are four threes put together to make a square. So many of these lights, these are all threes. Right here and here, up at the top. So all of these lights threes in the tall buildings that's going to be great and just make the background stay dark but still have that pop of color there's some threes right there and as we go down a little bit on this left side their right our left <laughs> in this building we have some threes in these windows Some threes right here. Oh, that was my shoulder. No threes bottom left. Let me just double check bottom right. The lowest they go is right here. Remember where we started with these double threes and then this building. And then they just move up. There's some here and remember they move up and up. And they're really just going to be up there. Those light yellows, all of those offices or whatever they're being used for apartments, Gotham City apartments. That's it for those. So now we will go to our last bag. White, the fullest bag. And We'll start from the top because just like the threes, there will be light yellow and there are fours also lighting up these buildings. So there are threes and you can see the really lighter. See how this is a little bit yellow? Then that's white. Those are fours. Here are three fours. And some fours here and here. There's a little group of fours right here, and then four more fours right there. A line of fours here. All of the white right here, really. These are fours. Lines of fours and groups of fours. A lot right here. This building, the one that as those diagonal threes also has diagonal fours as it gets lower. All of this white and in the middle of the diagonals, those are fours. And up here there are fours in this whole area right here. Fours. So very bright in between them like a spotlight almost coming from behind them. Maybe they're getting caught but they just don't care so they're going to kiss. <laughs> or she's saying shush. <laughs> don't get caught but if this is going to be bright the fours, those ABs go all there above Batman right here. They're in the buildings just like the threes. Just a little bit lower. There are fours and then the really big area are all of these fours in between them, behind Batman's cow. And in this building, these are fours. It starts as threes. It's mainly threes are at the top, and as it goes lower, they're fours. There are fours here, here are fours and lines of fours, and over here, two fours. <laughs> Just thought I'd point them out. There are fours in this building, along with threes. Threes and fours and ones and twos go together in this, if you've noticed. 
And there are some fours here next to the twos. Fours here. So there are a couple of fours on Catwoman. On her suit. There are some fours here. And here. These aren't all fours, but here are three. And then if you cover that up, there are fours here. Let's keep going down. Here are some twos that I might have seen earlier. I apologize if I pointed them out, but here are twos right here, which would make sense because they do outline her outfit. The last ones I see are just right here, full fours, and then, you know, as the buildings go up, we have, let's see, you know, just four, 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 two fours, remember I showed you right there, just dotted throughout, but wow, this is going to be stunning. So here is a close-up of the background with those threes and fours, see how many? Those buildings in the back, they look so good and you can see the rendering is so, let me clear that out, there we go, so clear. Then we move down, more buildings, see there are the threes and fours. So, so clear. And here is Batman. And there's Catwoman. The bat and the cat. Then, you move down. Can still see there are those twos that show her outfit. She's on my nail. <laughs> and then you can see her arm going up. There's his stomach, and as you move up, you can see the bat symbol on him. His utility belt, I think, right? His utility belt. Her outfit. And you can see someone right here. Standing in the darkness. Let's move down. A lot. Of 310 but still so so clear see what a gorgeous canvas for your game room movie room kitchen if you want <laughs> wherever you want to put it living room movie theater space there's his other hand You can see behind them, the building, the designs are so clear. The only huge, huge multi-placing is really Batman. And then down here, but as you move up, there we go, I backed up. But as you move up, you can see there are even little eyes on the bat. <laughs> There's so much detailing, so there's not much multi-placing. I mean, there is, but not the big area of 310. That's really just the lower part of Batman, and then the bottom, but there's so much to see. It's so hard to get all of this gorgeous, gorgeous detail in one frame. I mean, how stunning is that just right there? Whoever rendered this did an amazing job. 
everything is so clear. You can even see the definition in his abs. The suit, see there's his hand where I was showing you guys, his leg, her leg, where it bends her belt. And then there's the big area of 310. But the good thing about it is, like I said, it's dark. It's not a big area of white that you'll have to multi-place. It's all darker multi-placing, which is quicker and harder to see any little, you know, mistakes. So, so when I saw this, I was just like, it is so, so incredibly gorgeous. Just like all of the other DC paintings coming out on the 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for everybody, I think. So, if you do have your eye on one, I'm not sure if they're limited edition, you know, they might be just because they're huge and they're DC, but so gorgeous. You can see the box even is kind of like a collector's item to me just because it's so beautiful. And then this it's such a statement piece, especially if you're a huge Catwoman or Batman or as a couple or just a DC fan. This is stunning. And I was like, please let me show it. And I especially, especially just the buildings. I keep looking at the buildings behind them because they're going to bring the darkness of Batman and Catwoman out so much they'll stand out because of all the little lights in the background it'll be so so gorgeous and you can see the rendering is amazing the artwork everything about this is just perfection and it's so big which I love because it's just going to be a statement piece no matter where you put it and like I said if you do want this it comes out on the 22nd 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I hope you guys love this, love the other sneak peeks. I hope you love DC and if you do want to buy this or any others, remember you can use my code you caught me crafting if it's your first time. If it's not then and if it's not of course <laughs> you can get another amazing diamond art piece that will just be so much fun and definitely a long project you can work on by yourself or maybe your family is a huge DC family and you can work on it together or with a friend, partner, anything like that. But I hope that you love the sneak peek. I just adore this whole painting. I wish I could get more of it in frame, but it's just stunning. All of those lights, ABs. The AB placement is immaculate. And again, the 22nd at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll just end this by saying, as I always say, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. We're all going through a lot right now, but hopefully this makes you happy and the other paintings coming out are making you happy. Diamond painting, your family, your friends. Whatever's making you happy, I'm so happy that you have that in your life and I just hope that my videos can bring even a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of happiness and stress-free time and relaxation into your life. Thank you so, so much for what you guys do for me. If you could just subscribe, like, comment, all of that helps me more than you could ever know. It's such a quick little thing to do, I know, but it helps so much and I thank all of you who are subscribed and hopefully if you aren't you will be and I thank you also and again I hope that you love this sneak peek I can't stop looking at this gorgeous gorgeous art Diamond Art Club's been picking amazing DC pictures so who knows what they're gonna do in the future it just keeps getting better and better here one more time is the bat and the cat what a cute name too, I love it. And I'm holding it out at the bottom, kind of backing away. It's so big. Ah, that sounded, you guys, you know, you know what I mean, but I'm trying to get as much of the art as I can. There is the bat and the cat in almost all of its full glory. <laughs>
Again, I will put a link to my video on how to roll up really large canvases when you're working on them because this is definitely one where you're going to want to roll it up as you're working on it unless you just have a huge, huge, huge crafting room. And I'll see you guys so soon. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'll see you so, so, so soon. Again, please, I have so many polls and things going on on my Instagram too, so please add me there. It's just you caught me crafting. Everything is linked below. And like I said, I'll see you soon. Bye guys, thank you so, so much for everything. How cute are they? I can't wait to see your progress on this. Bye guys.